Welcome to episode 10 of No BSTS. And in this one, we're going to take a look at read only and its associated utility type and talk about how we can get to some compile time immutability in TypeScript. Let's jump right into it. All right, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it read only one.ts. And I'm going to make a cat. That cat's going to have a name and it's going to have a breed. And then I'm going to create a function called make cat. And cat's going to take a name, a string, and a breed, which is also a string. And it's going to turn a cat, crazily enough. And to do that, I'm going to return a new object, and that's going to have that name and that breed. Hey, cool enough, right? So nothing surprising so far. So if I were to go and create a cat, so I'm going to create a cat called Usul. I'm going to make that cat, and that cat's name is going to be Usul, and its breed is going to be a, a tabby cat. Now if I go over here and I can set Usul.name equals Piter. Yes, when I had cats, I named them all after characters in Dune. Uh, okay, so that's not good. That is not an immutable cat anymore, and that ain't Usul. So how do we go and make an immutable cat? in TypeScript. Well, actually, it's pretty easy. We can just go and add on read only to any field that we want to be read only. So in this case, I can not change name, but I can still change breed. But let's go and say that I don't want anybody to be able to change anything about the cat. Well, one way that I can do that really easily is I can create a new type called read only cat and set it to a read only utility type and just give it cat. Now let's take a look at read only cat and see what it looks like. And now it's added read only to every one of the fields in that type. And I can take this and replace it with cat over there. And now again, that Usul name is not allowed. And of course, I don't really need to know, go and create that new type. I can just go and place it like that and a bit more readable just like that, and away you go. So, so that's one good use of read-only. There's another good use around tuples. Let's go and create another coordinate creator. And it's going to take an X, Y, and Z. And from that, it's going to create a tuple of three numbers. And it's just going to return x, y, and z. All right, let's go make another coordinate. 10, 20, 30. But here's the problem. I can go and then change that coordinate. I can say c1 is now 50. And maybe that's what you want. But maybe that's not what you want. You want to have that coordinate be essentially fixed. Well, the easiest way to do that is just to say read only. And then you can't set zero. That's now an error. Awesome. And one last thing, when it comes to immutability in TypeScript, which again, just means at compile time, as we saw in episode two, TypeScript is actually fixed almost my number one pet peeve when it came to const in JavaScript. So I'm going to create a new constant array, and I'm going to call it really const. It's going to have one, two, three in it. And if we do our old friend command K, command I, we can see that this is really an array of numbers. Okay, great. But is it really const? Because if I do really const zero equals 50, it's gonna be totally cool with that, which is not const, right? Okay, so how do we achieve array immutability out of this? Well, let's try read only. Well, it doesn't like that. How about as read only? Does that work? No, that doesn't work either. But what you can do is you can say as const. And that basically says that the contents of that array are also constant. So in this case, it's telling me, no, 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 you cannot reset that value. And so what you get is an immutable array in TypeScript. Great stuff. All right, well, coming up in episode 11, we're going to look at another favorite feature of mine, which is enums. In the meantime, of course, feel free to like and share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a no BS TS episode arrives.